All right, so this is gonna be a video unlike any other video on this channel to this date, and that's because I'm not the one that's editing this video. Which is kind of scary because I'm not the one who's controlling what happens to this footage. But why don't I introduce you guys to who is editing this? Do some. You can't just have me on. Do something. But I thought you just wanted me to edit, not be in front of the camera. Tell them your name or something. I don't know. Introduce yourself. Say something. <laughs> so for real. Hey guys, my name is Kirk Lepitan and I am hopefully Maddie's new editor. All right, so now you know who's editing this and they're gonna do a really good job. They will do it. I hope they do. You're gonna do a good job, right? But I'm gonna try to film this like I normally would so it's as real world as possible. What do I normally do in my videos? Oh, I know. I thought in this video we would talk about seven essential, imperative, crucial, necessary, indispensable tips for filmmaking beginners. If you're just starting out, and I, I apologize if you're not doing these and you don't consider yourself a beginner. Tip number one is to know your camera inside and out. Your shutter speed, ISO, f-stop, white balance, frame rates, anything and everything in your camera you should know. And this is because then you can focus on the more important things like framing, lighting, the story, all those things that are way more crucial than just, just the settings. So know your camera inside and out. Keep practicing those settings till you can do them in your sleep, no problems. You never have to think about what settings am I changing and why. And then number two would be to use a stabilizer. In this case, I'm just using like a Gorilla Joby monopod and because I'm on the one wheel, it should be fairly smooth. Uh, but use a stabilizer. Nobody likes shaky footage and, and saying you're shooting handheld, don't use that as a cop out. And then number three, learn how to edit. Even if you don't wanna be an editor yourself, learn how to edit because it's super important for when you're filming. That way you know what kind of clips do you need for, to go from one section to the next section, what kind of filler clips, what coverage do you need. If you're not editing in your head while you're shooting, you're gonna miss out on a lot of shots. So make sure to edit so you kind of understand what's going on in the editing process. And speaking of editors, I'll let my uh, future editor take the next two tips here. Thanks. Me. If you hire me, please let me borrow your one wheel. I need a one wheel to keep up with you. Anyway, tip number four, be organized. Organizing your files will go a long way. Don't just dump all your footage into one folder. Separate your footage, music, audio, and other stuff into their own different folders before you start editing. Organizing doesn't just apply to editing, but filmmaking in general. Make sure all your equipment is well organized and prepared before you go out and shoot. Staying organized will make your life so much easier as a filmmaker. Number five, don't forget proper lighting. After all, you need light to capture an image into the camera. So it is very important. If you're like me and don't own a studio light, take advantage of a free light source, the sun. Shoot outdoors, like what I'm doing right now, or if you're indoors, try to shoot by a window, like Maddie, back at the studio. So let me cut back to him and show you. 
Oh, hey, thanks for covering for me. Uh, tip number six, I would say is get a decent mic. Do yourself a favor and get a good mic because bad audio just, it's the worst. People are gonna hate it. People are not gonna like watching your stuff. It's not the coolest thing to invest in, but just do it, it's worth it. Number seven, and lastly, I would say just have fun with it. If you're not having fun while you're filmmaking, you're, you're just not gonna learn as much. So figure out what kind of filmmaking and, and what roles fit you best so that you can actually have a lot of fun with it because that's honestly the best way to learn. That's how I learned everything in the beginning. I just, I just had fun with it. I thought it was just a fun thing to do. I didn't care about getting paid or, or getting recognition or anything. I just liked doing it, so I, I just kept learning. So just have fun with it. All right, great. I think that's it for uh, the seven tips. Uh, how, how did we do? Did we did we make a good team? Uh, if, if you think so, uh, send some feedback in the comments if you like this collaboration between me and... And if you think that me and should keep collaborating, then uh, give a lot of thumbs up and, and a lot of encouraging words. And even if you don't, still be encouraging, be nice guys. Um, yeah, I guess I guess that's it for this video. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Um, hit the like button, click it, tap it if you're on a phone. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you're subscribed to the channel already. If you're not, then you probably could be, I don't know. You don't have to be, it's fine. I don't take offense. Uh, all right, I, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video and um, you guys will probably soon find out if, uh, if me and um, are, are gonna be working together or not. Bye.